What's up guys, Swift here. I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. We did have a couple of surprise moves last night. PJ Walker was released. So was Alex Leatherwood and Bravion Roy. I'm very happy that Ryan Poles had the stones to go ahead and realize that he made a decision with PJ Walker and cut him. PJ Walker earned $2 million but still got cut. Tyson Bagent clearly outplayed him. Love that move by Ryan Poles. I did a quick update on my projected 53-man roster. Not much changed here, but now that we know P.J. Walker is not on the roster and that the team has moved on from Alex Leatherwood, it opens up some other potential options. I think Dieter Iceland has a great chance to make this team. It's going to come down to him or Doug Kramer for this last offensive line spot. But I'm also kind of expecting Ryan Poles to just bring in someone from the outside and stash these guys on the practice squad. Onto the defensive side of the ball, one last change as well. I believe this final cornerback spot could be a battle right now between Michael O.J. Mudia and Jalen Jones. Michael O.J. Mudia has outplayed him. Jalen hasn't been healthy, but to me, I think Blackwell is a lock. His value on special teams has just been too much. I also think Micah Baskerville has a shot for that final linebacker spot. But I think Ryan Poles is going to take advantage of the guys he's able to sneak onto the practice squad. I think Micah Baskerville may be one of those guys. DeAnthony Jones, Jalen Harris, and Kendall Williamson, I think all will be back on the practice squad pretty easily. Throw Darius Fountain in that mix too. We should have a lot more news coming very soon. As the team has to have their rosters down to 53 players by tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern. We're about 27 hours away from major moves. Stay tuned, guys. I'll be here every step of the way breaking it down. Until next time, bear down.